the MetLife Blimp Snoopy 2 cruising the skies above Palm Springs, California to provide you with aerial coverage of the Skins game here at Rancho La Quinta. The Blimp typically cruises at a speed of 35 miles per hour and an altitude of 1,200 feet. What a perfect day for Blimp flying. Now Mark O'Mara. All right, shot, Mark. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, a little hanger. It hadn't been easy, opening doors. Getting people to participate in the game of life through the game of golf. Anybody can play the game, simple as that. Our primary message to be delivered is about family. The opportunity to be together. How the family plays an important role. Care and share. Giving back love. The sheer joy of being with each other. When I see any kid, uh, no matter who it is, with their parents, it, it brings back some great memories for me. My dream is to make golf available. My goal is to make golf look like America, a multi-ethnic sport with all different facets of life playing it, and that would be my dream. Well, on the fourth hole, all four players taking irons off the tee. Tom Lehman missed and found the bunker, set to play his second. Well, he's got 100 yards. He's got a good lie in the bunker. All he's trying to do is pick this clean. He's got a pitching wedge, and the pin has a little backdrop behind it, so it's, uh, he could spin this thing back to the hole. Come down. Now Come he's down. hit it too far. Down. hard to judge because you haven't have not played and hit a shot here, you know? It's hard to... Do we have any uh, water in the back? Well, while we have a moment, let's remind you about Championship Saturday next week on ABC Sports, the WAC Championship College football game, Colorado State, New Mexico in Las Vegas, the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game, Nebraska. Boy, what a scare from Colorado yesterday. They take on Texas A&M. Then in primetime, the SEC Championship presented by Dr. Pepper. Here's Duval second. With the sandwich right at it. 99, huh? A little wind behind us? A little bit, just a hair, Mark. Okay. You got it. Jeez. One of the best parts of Mark O'Meara's game is a full sandwich. He's got 95 yards. Come down. Thanks. Good job, Marco. Thanks. Thank you. Sandwich. Guys, thinking back to last year, I was surprised. Remember, Tiger Woods and John Daly both took out their drivers and got in the neighborhood of the green. Absolutely, and especially after winning three skins on the last green. Yeah, let Kurt. her go. Just let her go. Just, you know, take driver and hit it as hard as you can, because even if you do miss the green, you've got a fairly easy pitch. Curtis, he's got 60 yards, and I agree with you. I'm surprised he laid up. That's good. Should come back down toward the hole a little bit. Thanks, Bob. Well, just kind of like a normal day when they're out playing golf together in Orlando. Tiger and Mark. Irons, wedges, now both putting for birdie. You talk about golfers knowing the golf course. How about the fans, Curtis? Well, they got a great picture here. You see all the people behind the grandstands. There's a great hill over here. Here's the hill in front, and this is where they just laid up off the tee. Great spectator hole. <laughs> Knowledgeable golf fans here in the Coachella Valley. Layman first for birdie. Picks up speed right there. Yeah. Even though you, you have to make them, do you feel good that that was the perfect speed on that putt? Very much so. Even though you don't make the putt, as long as you hit a good putt, you know the next time you have it that you have some confidence that you just did hit a good putt before and you can do it again. 
A lot of good putts don't go in the hole. Pretty straight. Mm -hmm. David able to pick up anything after watching Tom's putt? Well, he was certainly watching, and you heard him say pretty straight. I did the same. Ooh, well, that left hit. Well, now it's Tiger and Mark putting for birdies. We know they're friends, but what did Mark say that Tiger really found out was true this How year? How long the season is. I mean, it's a long season. I played junior golf and amateur golf, and it's basically a three-month season, which is during the summer only. Now it's a ten-month season, and I've never played this much golf in my life. And he keeps harping on me. He's done it for 17 years or whatever he's done now, and you know, he keeps giving me a um, little needle on that. But, um, yeah, it's, it's really imperative that you really spread out your schedule and, and really try and maximize your, your tournaments and try and peak at the right times because you can't sustain it for the entire year. There's, there's no way. But what you can do is give yourself enough ample rest and some time so that you can be fired up and ready to play each and every tournament. Schedule management, and Tiger has said in the past this year that it's different for him than other players because of everything he has to deal with at every tour stop. When Tiger comes to town, it's the biggest news going. For Birdie. So the door is ajar for Mark O'Mara. We know he's helped Tiger so much, but what has Mark picked up, if anything, from his friendship with Tiger? Well, I think what he's brought to me is an awareness that even though I'm 40 now, and Tiger's obviously 21, there's 19 years difference, uh, it, a little bit of a motivating factor. I come, a young player such as Tiger comes along, got great ability, uh, can hit the ball a long way, has everything going for him as a winner, and I think in a way that kind of has pushed me a little bit. It's kind of driven me to try to say, hey, listen, even though he's got a lot of advantages in a lot of areas, I got to find some way, somehow, to maybe, I don't know what it is, maybe I'll putt him, I'll think him, uh, whatever, and see if I can't clip him. So I think it's, it's definitely uh, increased the juices for me to go out and compete. Great friendship. Mark O'Meara for 20,000 in the skin. Yes. Yeah. Squeaked it in there. More nervous on those than I am when I'm playing for the big cash. Great hey, job, Mo. Hey, Thanks, congratulations, Thanks, Mark. Way to go, twenty thousand dollars. Well, Peter, uh, you know it's uh, it's nice to make a putt, get on the board, but uh, Arnold, Ch Arnold Palmer's Children's Hospital at home is going to benefit from this, so it's a lot of fun. And they, they were great to my son yep. when uh, he was eighteen months old. He almost drowned, and they took great care of him at the hospital there. So I'm glad to give something back. Twenty percent goes to the uh, Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital. Congratulations, and keep up the good play. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate it. His son Robert is now eight and doing just hey, fine. $20,000 for Mark, and now we move to the fifth hole with another $20,000 on the line. I'm standing at the 290-yard mark in the middle of the fifth fairway, which is a par five here at Rancho La Quinta. It's important that we're here because if you can drive it here, you're gonna get some 60 or 70 yards more roll down the fairway on your tee shot. Once you reach the bottom of the hill, it becomes a par four. The players are gonna be hitting long iron second shots to a relatively flat green. Last year, Tiger Woods hit it 377 yards off the tee, only to be outdriven by John Daly, who hit it 380. I think you're going to see a lot of birdies here. We may even see an eagle. Well, well, Peter, I think Tom Lehman wanted a little bit of that advantage for hitting the drive and getting the roll after it hits the fairway. He was trying to get Tiger to move the tee markers up a little bit. And Tiger said, hey, guys, can we just push him back? Well, Tiger loves that advantage. Don't, don't think that he doesn't know what he's got. He can reach back and get an extra 30 or 40 yards where it's tough for a lot of the players to do that. Most of the guys are going full out as it is. Well, the order finally changes. The honor hey, belongs to Marco Mara. Did we hit back or we hit back further? We did. Okay. Okay, but just a little more right, huh? The tees are up some 20 yards from where they played yesterday from in the Pro-Am. This is perfect. You gotta stay a little bit left to miss that bunker. Oh yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Is that good? Yeah, you know what? Hold back, Tiger.
Watch the good, complete, full shoulder turn, just short of parallel. A lot of speed right at the ball. Nothing will be held back here. This is deep. It's perfect. Fairway this is going to fly like over the ball. Where that white mark is, and it goes down to the left. Oh. Right back up this right. well, here's the drive. Here's the drive. <laughs> hey. We know the numbers never lie, but what happens when the numbers run out? He gave Momera a funny stare right there, like, take this, Mark. Still rising as it passed yours. Thanks, David. <laughs> All right, he's got me by 19 years, too. He's supposed to do that. Mark Omera, you never hit it close to that yes, distance. <laughs> now, here's a man that can get it out there, Tom Lehman. Well, there's another perfect one. Here you come. And there's exactly what Peter illustrated right before the players arrived at the tee box. If it hits at that 290 mark, it's another 45 yards of roll there for Tom Lehman. Fine. Another perfect one. Who are you taking down with you? This one, Melissa? This Melissa and I, yeah. I'll tell you what, we were going to... I think it's just Alicia and I... And Missing the fairway? But still very, very long. Peter? David, you've, uh, you've got your dad caddying for you. How special is that? Well, to, to have him here in an event in which I really never envisioned participating, it's just a great weekend. You know what I'm going to do? so all of America can see how pretty you are. Let's take the eyes. This is the real David Duvall, ladies and gentlemen, the guy we see in the locker room. Open up the eyes a you open up your eyes. You know, you went uh, for two or three years, you didn't win on tour. You were a lot of seconds, a lot of thirds, and you and I even joked about it, and I kept saying, you're going to win. Just just relax, and you did in a big way. Yeah, uh, you know, I think it, it was a bit of a lightening of the load, but at the same time, it's not as if I changed anything. I just, just had a few things go my way and, and hung in there, and lo and behold, I'm on top. Well, you're playing great. I know it's taking a little time to get started yeah. here, but good luck to you. Thanks, Thanks David. Well, David Duval, Tom Lehman looking to join the group. Tiger Woods winning three skins on the third, and then Mark O'Mara won one with a birdie on four. Well, we are back. We are back where they're standing. Back at the fifth hole, $20,000 on the line. Mark O'Mara okay. standing over this ball. Mark has a difficult shot, as you see the green up in this area, the perfect shot is to come in here and hit a cut. As we said earlier, Mark hits a draw a natural shot. Yeah, this is going to be tough for him to get it over that bunker. It's a long ways. The green is elevated from him a little bit. It's all of his three when he got it good. It's going to the center of the green. Sliding. Hey. Come off that hill. Come off the hill. That's a great shot, Mark. Well, good Almost second thanks. shot for O'Mara. Monday Night Football on ABC. The Green Bay Packers, one of the places where they struggled. In Minnesota against the Vikings, Al, Frank, Dan, and Swanee have this big NFC Central game live. 9 Eastern, Monday night on ABC Sports. David Duval second. Out of the light rough with a three, and he's lost this to the right. It's got to get up. Good shot here. Peter. Just like the old man. Huh? Hey, Peter. 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 Good shot, David. On the Peter. surface. I'd like to lose him to the right on a par five and two and get it on the putting surface, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I, I wish you could have seen that thing squirreling out of that rough, Curtis. It was right, and then it came back left. I think it's an illegal ball. <laughs> I'm glad those guys are keeping you straight. It's not up to the two of us all day. Tom Lehman next with a five wood. Got a little better lie than, than David's. With Tiger out there so far, he's got to get this thing up in the air high to get it close to the hole. This looks real good right at it. Go! Yeah, it's short, but right at it. Good shot, you guys. 
Peter, we ran out of numbers. About how far do you estimate Tigers drive? Well, I just walked past that uh, 350, 10 yards, so I, I give it 360. That's unbelievable. I'll tell you what's unbelievable is that. 92 total. Okay. 192 total, as you heard Fluff say. What's unbelievable is that a lot of people can hit it that far, but very, very few can hit it that accurate. He's got a tough little lie here. The ball's below his feet. He's got a six iron, so this thing should slide to the right. It's right at it. Come off the slope. Come on. Come on. How's Julie doing, Dave? We're doing all that money, right? Tiger and Tom on the putting surface. Okay, the suggestions will be rolling in. Okay, he didn't need suggestions two years ago and a little bit farther back. In 1991, Tom Lehman simply dominated the Hogan Tour. The Minnesota native made 27 of 28 cuts along the way, earning a tour leading $140,000. Of his 11 top 10s that season, six in the top two, including wins at the Gulf Coast Classic, South Carolina Classic, and the Santa Rosa Open. For his outstanding play, Tom Lehman was named the Hogan Tours Player of the Year. Five years later, Lehman found himself atop the PGA Tour. Two wins, the British Open, and the Tour Championship, highlighting a record-breaking season in which he made 20 of 22 cuts, 13 top 10s, and 19 top 25s. He earned $1.78 million to lead the tour and captured the Byron Nelson Award for leading the tour in scoring. He was named Player of the Year in 1996, the only golfer to earn that honor on both the PGA and Nike Tours. And you can look at the stats and say he's a great golfer, but get to know him a little bit, he's an even greater person. A wonderful family man, deeply religious, and handles himself with the utmost class at all times. Peter, everyone with a putter here? Everybody's going to be putting the ball. David Duvall's putting first. He's really got a pretty simple putt. It's uphill about 40 feet. These are the kind that go in. Nothing to lose. A lot to gain. You know, I think with these pins... I Surprise, he's leaving out. the pin in. Yeah. Boy, good putt. Tom's right there. Who is it, Marco? Always a part of Skins Weekend, the Pro-Am. Pro-Am packages provided by Callaway Golf this week. The winning team, Dennis Murphy, Evan Sternshine, Bill Sellers, and Don Transit. Congratulations to all of the participants. What do you guys think? That looks like, that looks like you, though, huh? I think it's just me. All right. It's pretty close. I'll go. Take it out there, bud. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's fine. Thanks. Yeah, I just held a fine all right, but I had a good putt. Oh, yeah. Man. Well, Marco Mera, as you heard, decides that he is next to play. Hey, Fluffer. Fluff. <laughs> well, you have four players putting for yeah. Eagle in a skins game. Make sure game. you rate that bunker afterwards. Any case part of your mind up. think about the birdie? Being no, safe and making no. sure you can make a birdie? No, I think, you know, the birdie or Eagle portion is, is thrown out the window. You just try to make a putt because you figure somebody's going to make one of these. Uh, you know, for the best players in the world, you know, you figure somebody's going to make a 20 or 25 footer. Mark with a little bit difficult putt here, up over a little slope, hard breaker to his right. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. That's a good try there. Thanks. And as that ball was getting close to the Thanks. hole, his heart beat with racing. Believe me. <laughs> About at this point right here. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> the skins are a lot of fun, but they are frustrating. Tom Lehman's putt is straight uphill. Maybe break a little bit to the right. Yeah. They know that four is a foregone conclusion, so they're looking for the three. How many times a week are you lifting, bud? 
Uh, three or four. Are you? Are you doing anything aerobically? Tom tapped anything? in for his four. Do you have somebody doing it with or are you doing it yourself? Mark O'Mara talking with David Duval like about his workout left? regimen. Yeah, just on top, huh? He pushed you. There's no rest in between. You know, I think so. Right at the end. Top edge. Yeah. Again, this is the situation you you want to be in, the last one to putt for all the cash. You already have two people in, you can give this a good run. That's a little low. Good try though. Good try. Good putt, man. Nice try. Birdie for Tiger here last year. Won him $40,000 in two skins. This year, Birdie just halves the hole. Carry over to six, which will be worth $40,000. Tiger's won three skins in $60,000, but almost had a fourth and another twenty k in his back pocket. The city of La Quinta, nestled at the base of the picturesque Santa Rosa Mountains, is home to this year's skins game. Located 30 minutes east of Palm Springs, in California's Coachella Valley, La Quinta has an historic past and lively present that gives the city its special charm. Famed since the 1930s when sun worshippers like Greta Garbo and Marlena Dietrich soaked in the rays here, La Quinta has become one of Southern California's finest resort communities. In addition to being a premium resort with golf, tennis, and accommodations, La Quinta is rich with business opportunities along the Highway 111 corridor and in the neighborhood village community. La Quinta, the gem of the desert. You playing the other? All right. We're two-time defending champions. So, birdies made on the par five fifth. We move to the second of the three par threes that we'll see during today's front nine of the Skins game, the sixth hole, measuring 218 yards and worth $40,000. Two skins on the line. This is the last of the holes with a $20,000 value. The next six worth $30,000 apiece. What did I just say? Four? I don't think I get a three on. Three yards. I can't hit the. I can't get a four there, can I? Just nice. Okay. Well, I got to try. I got to try to hit a high cut. I mean, I know. Okay. Very difficult hole location. Only nine over the corner of this trap that you see. You just heard Mark and Higgy have to come in here with a cut. That's a three iron. And that ball is That's moving right. right though. <laughs> well. well, if anyone can win the skin on this par three, they will get a 1998 Toyota Camry XLE for his charity. Tiger Woods has got a five iron. Now another advantage for Tiger is not only is he long, he's strong with the irons and they go so very high, this ball will come down and not go very far. just left toward the middle of the green. It's going to catch the slope and so bad. fall off to the left. This is a tough pin. They've got to carry it at least 210 to get it right on top. Well, let's take a look. It, it's tough the, to say, but Tiger fights getting the club too far on the downswing inside. And when I say that, when he gets down here, the club gets too far behind him, back in this area. And for that reason, he comes too far out to the right. His hands take over, and he flips the ball to the left. Very similar to Marco Mira's problem as he fights every day. Tom Lehman with a four iron. This ball's a little bit to the right as well. This first, in the rough, just over the bunker, bud. First green missed by Lehman today. Yep. Uh -uh. Your 
first thought would Jake's be to gone. say <laughs> it's wide open for Jake. David Duval, but I think we've seen it's not an easy shot. <laughs> they think. Well, this is where we talk about. Do you do you go right at the flag stick or do you play a little bit left of the green? I think you have to play your normal game. He has a long iron. He has to go just left of it because you certainly don't want to miss the green to the right. You have a difficult pitch. Put it on the green first. Oh, I turned that one too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we didn't do uh, too good with the car. Too long a part three. Well, David, the only one on the green, but everybody's got some work to do. With his father, Bob, carrying the bag, David Duval battling O'Mara, Lehman, and Woods. The opening day of the 15th anniversary Skins game. There's some stellar shots there. <laughs> Look at this great crowd, and remember, when we say about 10,000 folks are here, they're moving from hole to hole with the group. So, uh, boy, it looks like a wonderful scene here at Rancho La Quinta. Golf continues next week on ESPN. Our Friday coverage will be the opening round of the J.C. Penny Classic. You'll see that on ESPN Friday and Saturday. And Live final round coverage one week from tomorrow on ABC Sports. An LPGA player, a PGA Tour player as partners, John Daly and Laura Davies, the long hitters, back again as a team. Boy, that should be fun. Join us next Sunday on ABC Sports, Friday and Saturday on ESPN. Um, why don't you hold it? Interesting situation here. David Duvall is putting first. He's the uh, furthest from the hole. The other three players have missed the green. Tiger's <laughs> going to putt, but Lehman and O'Meara are going to chip, so David Duval could snuggle this thing up nice and close and get his par and wait on everybody else. And look, he has Dad Duval holding the flag stick. Old Dad's got to do some work out here today. <laughs> Andy, come on over here. Come on, pull this way. Hey, Joe. Well, David may be weighted down by the over a million dollars he won in his last three events, but he's no longer weighted down by the 40 pounds that he used to carry. How about the lost weight? Yeah, that's the only negative I viewed uh, through what I did with the weight loss. Um, even as recently as the President's Cup last year, I was a 46 jacket, now I'm a 42. And so basically what that translates in, into is I didn't have anything blocking me anymore, and so my swing got long. and, and Therefore, my timing's all messed up. You know, I tend to be a three-quarters to not quite a full swing player. And uh, even my short irons were getting too parallel or past, and that creates a lot of problems. Marco Mara. Thanks. Very nice shot. Thank you. Not too high. I thought that was interesting from David Duval. We, we talked about the touch in his game and his play around the greens, Thanks, but sir. really the length of his swing was the thing that he said was the biggest impact of losing all that weight and the changes to his body. Well, and that happens. You heard him explain that his swing gets too long and it ruins his whole timing. And you remember, he's swung the same way for many, many years, and all of a sudden it's changed overnight. Has to relearn his swing. Layman, similar to O'Mara. Get there. Got to get there. Tom Lehman's had a very steady nice day. Hey. Hasn't been able to get the one to drop, but he's been right around and involved in almost every hole. He has a lot of steady days. <laughs> it's called talent and a lot of hard work. Hey. Nice pitch. I've made the par so Tiger can go for now. Yep. <laughs> well, this is not an easy putt. He's got to come over a little rise in the green, and it's going to drop off sharply to the right. But he's got a free run at it, Curtis, as you mentioned earlier. He's got nothing to lose right here. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Nice pop. Well, he only blew off one finger on that one. He exploded he it so there. big. <laughs> but you know, some of that is that you don't want to Leave it short so you hit it too hard. Knock this one in. Knock this one in. 21, I don't want to be hearing that. <laughs> so glad that the microphones are on O'Mara and Woods. 
because they are the last two guys you'd put together on tour and say they're the best of buddies and you know they hang out all the time but you can hear around the golf course their relationship is so great and means so much to both of them well i think every young player has to have somebody he can trust and talk to i know i did i know all my friends did Hi, nice spot, Tiger. Thanks. No, no okay. chance. Though. Tiger does the work. Lehman yeah, and man. Woods have the hole, and there you see. We're going to move to the seventh hole, worth $70,000. Peter takes us on a tour of the par four. The seventh hole at Rancho La Quinta is a 421-yard par four. The players will play from an elevated tee and must carry the water in front of them. The players will probably lay up with a three-wood short of a fairway bunker on the right. They'll be left with some 140 yards uphill to a green which slopes severely from left to right. The whole location today is in the back right of the green. Okay, Mark. Okay, Chuck. So it's Mark O'Mara first, still holding the honor after winning the skin with the birdie on the par four fourth. Mark O'Mara's got a fairway wood. I believe it's a three wood, might be a four wood. Wind's in their face a little bit today, so you want to place it between the two bunkers out in the fairway. Pretty wide fairway, too. That's a little low, but it'll be all right, I think. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, a little low trapper. You saw that record in the majors, and Mark is very forthright in saying the one thing that he needs to do is win a major, but if he doesn't, with 14 tour wins and being so dominant at Pebble Beach, winning there five times, he's certainly comfortable with his place in golf history, as well he should be. Tiger Woods with a two iron. Yeah, hey, Tiger. You don't need to kill it, just a nice one. Shot there, Tiger. Yep. Hold on. Now, Lehman, you get the funny feeling Tom is really close to winning a skin here, and as the money starts to add up, this man who's always in the hunt on the final day of the majors, it seems, could be very close to winning a skin. That's Lehman also with a fairway Easy. wood. Terrible. No, I don't want to have Curtis, Darryl's you mentioned earlier that coming down, Layman has a lot of steady days. I think he's one of the most consistent players we have on tour, from the driver all the way through the putter. Absolutely, Peter. And, and the reason you say that, he has that knack, and not everybody has the knack, <coughs> to hit the ball very solid every time. He hits the same shot time and time again, as well as this man right here. I said, call Ty this room and say, I tell you, hey, we're going to see a lot of David DeBall in the next 15, former 18 years. Former pizza delivery man in that room. <laughs> pizza man. We talk about Tiger Woods and all the young 20-year-olds, but David DeBall is right in the middle of that. Just turned 26 two and a half weeks ago. $70,000 on the line, the par 4 seventh hole, here on the opening day of the Skins game. ABC Sports presentation of The Skins Game. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Callaway Golf, makers of the Big Bertha Metal Woods and Big Bertha Irons. Caterpillar and Nike. Tiger hit two iron, the other three players hitting three woods. And a slight help and a little bit left right. They've raised a pretty good shape here for their second shots at the par 4 seventh. Definitely should blow. Should definitely blow a little bit to the right, I would think. Yeah. Just slightly. 169. Yep. Tom Lehman in conversation with his caddy, Andy Martinez. He's been on Tom's bag for the last few years and been on several winning and successful bags over his career as a caddy. Tom's got a seven iron, and you said it, Andy caddy for Johnny Miller when Johnny Miller won everything and would like to win everything with Tom Lehman.
Great pictures all day from the MetLife Blimp, Snoopy 2, providing this bird's eye view of today's Skins game. Co-pilot Snoopy and the MetLife Blimp celebrating the 10th anniversary of providing aerial coverage at major sporting events throughout the country. Their 10th anniversary, our 15th anniversary edition of the Skins game. Tiger Woods next with an 8-iron from 160 yards. This is really an easy pin today. I'm surprised they've got it on the right side of the green. It's the flattest area. The green slopes severely from left to right, so anything cutting in here will be good. Hey, right. Come on. Tiger does not know how close that ball is because the second shot is uphill and they cannot see the ball land. Mark O'Meara next with a 7-iron. Same yardage as Tiger, about 160. Ball just below his feet, so this thing's going to slide in. Listen, looks very good. David Duval next with 150 yards. I think so. Right on the shaft of the crane. The tower. With the nine iron. And you heard the spot they picked out for aiming. Pushed it. That ball is to the right. Nice kick. The 15th anniversary edition of the Skins game is being held this year and next at Rancho La Quinta Country Club, a private master plan community in La Quinta, California. Developed by Drummond Company and Torchmark Corporation, Rancho La Quinta is a resort-style community, offering a choice of five early California residential enclaves, all built around a Robert Trent Jones Jr. designed golf course. The spacious homes of various layouts enjoy a magnificent private entryway, which leads to spectacular views of this golf course, sparkling lakes, and the beautiful sights that surround this protected cove area of La Quinta. A racket club with nine tennis courts, swimming pool and spa, private dining room, jogging and bike paths are also available to residents of Rancho La Quinta Country Club. Gary, you must be excited about the success that you're all having down here at Rancho La Quinta. I am happy about our success here. I'm also happy that we are the host to the 15th anniversary of the Skins game. We're happy about a golf course which was designed by Robert Trent Jones, Jr. And we're happy about this community we have here, which is second to none here in the Coachella Valley. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Peter, thank you as we look down at the seventh green of this Rancho La Quinta golf course. Second year it's played host to the Skins game. It'll be Mark O'Mara to play first. Well, the other three players are in there pretty close, so Mark had nothing to lose right there. David Duvall got a fabulous kick. His ball hit on the right fringe of the green and kicked dead left toward the pin. He's putting downhill. You said earlier, the greens are running about 10 and a half, maybe 11. And you can see the players are pretty aggressive. They're, they're knocking the ball uh, two, three, four, five feet behind the hole when they're, when they're trying to make it. Got to be aggressive out here, Curtis, as you said earlier. You, you got to play your own game. Can't wait for anybody else. Well, on the putting, you have to, you have, to have good speed, though, obviously. You don't want to leave it short, but you don't want to blast it by the hole, either, because that's no good, either. Well, a couple of greens ahead as Duval is reading here at seven. An artist is putting together a commemorative memento of what's going on here this afternoon at Rancho La Quinta.
Oh, that went right. David not able to capitalize on that nine iron second shot. <laughs> and now it's getting toward the end of the first day and Tom Lehman and David Duvall start thinking, you know, I want to get on that scoreboard. I want to get a skin. Take the pressure off and come into tomorrow with a, a lot of momentum. Tom got a good read off David's putt. Didn't go as much left as they thought. Oh, went left. Well, Tiger Woods, we know financially he's said endorsement-wise and earnings-wise, but the money won't be a concern if he ever goes through another dry See spell. See, that, that really doesn't matter. The money comes if you play well. What I want to do is just dominate, period. Just go out there and kick some butt. That, that's what drives me. Like at Augusta, how I went out there and, and really played well. I didn't fall back, I kept going forward. That's the way I like to play. I like to keep pushing it, keep pushing it. And keep going places where no one's ever gone before. Um, I've done it, I, I like to do it. I like to set records and, and do, do things that people have, have never, uh, some people have approached or maybe have you know, kind of touched, but I like to go beyond that. I like to push the envelope, that's just the way I am. If I was a race car driver, I want to go faster than you know the speed that uh, has been previously set. Uh, I always want to break records, and um, I just love doing it. For seventy thousand dollars. Good bullet. Good putt. Wow. I'm lucky there, bud. Frustrating frustration continues. That's the fourth time Tiger has had the last opportunity to win the skin. He's only made one. Good putt. Oh, man. But all you can do is hit a good putt, and he certainly looked like he did it there. So, $100,000 awaits, and a par three is coming up next. The eighth hole, as we wind down on day one of the 15th anniversary skins. Now, $100,000 on the line. The par three eighth hole. Let's check in at the tee with Peter. Well, we got two holes left. There's only two guys that don't have any money. How do you feel Come about on. that? That's an insult, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> but it's true, unfortunately. You having fun? Having a good time. Yeah, it's, it's fun out here. It's a great day, but uh, I'll tell you, it's a kind of a stacked deck. I want you to know that because even in my own family, my kids are cheering for Tiger, so I've got to go out there and get after it. <laughs> well, you got two holes left. Good luck. Let, let's Thanks. play away, guys. One of the bigger opening day holes that we've had in Skins history. In 95, Corey Pavin won $100,000 on an opening day of a Skins game. This is a smooth one. And in 91, John Daly also won $100,000 on a first day skin. One eighty-eight to the pin, 180 yards over the water. That's a six iron. <laughs> right at it. Well, somebody has to get inside that because the player closest to the pin on this par three will win a 1998 Toyota 4Runner Limited for his charity. And Mark O'Mara has given them a difficult target to shoot at. All right, yeah. You know, uh, you look, all you have to do is look at Mark O'Meara's hat. You see that Toyota on there. You know that everybody at Toyota wants to give that forerunner to Mark O'Meara. Tiger Woods next with the 7-iron. Little breeze in their face. As you said, Curtis, it's 180 yards to carry. Got to be real careful here. Got to drop it right down inside that ball for sure. Taking this real high and right at it. Gotta be kidding. But you, have to, but you have to pick the right club. 
<laughs> you can you can be high and right at it all day long, but you got to know how far your clubs go. He killed that too. He went at that real hard, probably too hard, because we all know that when you try to hit it too hard, Curtis, especially at your age and my age, it's going left. Tom Lehman next with a six iron also. And when you sit on a hole like this, when you have to carry water, the main thing that's in your mind, you have to hit it solid. You have to carry it that distance. Direction is not as much a concern as solidness. Woo! <laughs> this is a little bit to the right. A little bit to the right, Peter. I think it's a pretty darn good shot. You must be playing really well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the smart shot there, but he, when he hit it, he didn't like it because he's looking at O'Meara up there about eight feet. You know, everybody's talked about Tiger Woods. He's had all the attention the last couple of years, but David Duvall has quietly become one of the best players on the tour, certainly. Hits the ball well, he putts good, he thinks good. He's He's not a real fire-up, start-up guy. He doesn't laugh and joke out there like Fuzzy or Trevino, but, but he's intense. He's solid. This ball's left to the green. Ooh. Where'd that go? Well, it is not wet, but it'll be a difficult shot for David Duval, Marco Mara's charity. We'll get the Toyota 4Runner Limited now. Can Mark get the $100,000? Eighth hole. What do you think? It's too hard on it. Oh, so hard. He doesn't need to do that. They're in diving, isn't it? That's about right, I think. So much speed. So yeah. much speed. Just a little bit of a break to the left. Not very much. Tiger and David right there to help out with the read, no, no, huh? No, 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 Look no, at this. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me give you a hand with that one. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? What do you think? I think he, right, about, right about there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, too much. Great putt. You had to do it to me, didn't you? Unbelievable. Is there any point from here? Yeah, I got it. To when he gets over the ball. <laughs> that it creeps into Mark's mind that this putt is to keep Lehman from winning 100,000 and keep your hopes of winning 130 alive. Well, that's already, that's been in and out of his mind already. <laughs> you know, the, I've always felt like to, to, to have a putt to win was exciting. To have a putt to tie, as Mark does right here, it's work now. It's not near as exciting. Nerve wracking? Oh, yeah, very much so. Every shot is. This He's missed every putt today to the right. And Tom Lehman, who's been so close on many holes, wins one hundred thousand dollars. Come on, come on, Mark. Well, congratulations, Tom. You finally got off the schneid. <laughs> well, you inspired me back there on the tee. You shamed me into making a good shot and a good putt. But you know, Mark gave me a, a, a break there. He's one of the best putters on tour, and I expect him to make that one. Now, your, uh, your charity you're playing for? It's called the Children's Cancer Research Fund at the U of M Hospital in Minneapolis. Uh, it just does research and treatment for kids with leukemia. 
Well, I know that money will go to good, uh, good use. Congratulations. I want to, uh, I have a special presentation for you, Mark O'Meara, and standing next to me is Yale Giesel. He's Executive Vice President of Toyota Motor Sales USA, who has something for you for being closest to the pin here on number eight. Mark, that was a great shot, getting closest to the pin. And on behalf of the Toyota dealers in the United States, we'd like to present you with the keys to this brand new Forerunner Limited. And I understand that your uh, charity is the Arnold Palmer Hospital for Women and Children. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Yale. Really appreciate it. Obviously, uh, Toyota's support of this event has been tremendous. My involvement with the company has been great. Uh, it was a great hole. The only disappointment was I didn't make that putt to tie Tom. But, you know, that's the way it goes. But thank you very much for the nice gift for the Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital. Thanks to you, Yale. Thanks to Toyota. And, Mark, you got one more hole left. Better, better get Thanks. going. We will. Thanks. Peter. Thank you. And, Peter, let's take a look at the ninth hole. Curtis Strange will take us over the par five, the final hole this opening day of the 15th anniversary Skins game. When the players arrive at the ninth hole, they'll face a 565-yard par five that's easily reachable by three of the players. Mark O'Meara, on the other hand, has to hit two really good ones to get on into. The key ingredient here is they have to put it in the fairway. If they miss left, it becomes extremely difficult because of all the mounting. If they miss the fairway to the right, eh, they might be able to get it on into, but it becomes much more difficult with the shot being over water. 310, 320, 330. 340. Can you imagine hitting a drive that far? Gosh, it'd take me two to get here. After a successful drive of 340, the players will be left with about 225 yards to a long, narrow green, water short left, water short, water all down the right side, pin will be back in the green, advantage Tiger Woods. He had a six iron from this point last year. Well, Tom Lehman heads to nine, feeling good with a little bit of Skins history. Only Corey Pavin in 95 and John Daly in 91 won $100,000 on an opening day skin. And here's how he did it. And then Mark O'Mara's putt. Missed to the right. No handshake. I'll hug you for six figures. <laughs> So Layman steps to the tee of the par 5 ninth with the honor. Is this thing reachable? Probably not. If he hits a real, real good one, yeah. he might be able to go for it in two. Remember, the second shot is over water, all carry. Peter, what's the wind doing? Well, the wind's in their face, and I, I think they're going to be hard-pressed to get there in two, but Layman's pumped up. He just won a bunch of cash. It's high enough. Is it it's straight enough? though. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's I'm high. not sure you can get it out Fair there way. far enough. Gotta go spikes, I think. Oh. Layman wanted everybody to do the wave back there on the eighth green when O'Meara was putting. Well, it's a great shot on what faces them on the second shot. Lay up left or go for it in two. Beauty. That's a beautiful tee shot. Get that. Well done Skid. there. Thanks. Nice shot. Good shot. Good shot. Thanks, man. Wait, 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 wait. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Get that skid. <laughs> skid me crack. Six holes is pocket money, and the last six holes is spouse money. Have you got a real tiger? Tiger and company had their share of fun, but let's face it, at Skins, it's more fun when the money's won. With two carryovers, on the third hole, Tiger, a nine iron to the par three. The putter, Tiger Woods, three skins and $60,000. That was the first salvo, but Tiger's friend, Marco O'Mara, comes up with an answer from 100 yards out on the fourth hole. 
$20,000 earned by O'Mara there. After three more carryovers, we go to the eighth hole and Tom Lehman. This putt for birdie. Four skins won, $100,000. Add another $30,000 for a birdie on the ninth hole. It was a happy day for friends and family yesterday, especially the Laymans. Tom starts day two with the lead over Tiger Woods and Marco Mera. David Duval shut out on day one, but $390,000 on the line today. ABC Sports welcomes you to day two of the 15th anniversary edition of the Skins Game. For the second consecutive year, the Skins Game being contested at the beautiful Rancho La Quinta Country Club in La Quinta, California. Well, a storm from the Pacific Ocean is lurking. The first signs of that storm, some clouds. They've covered a little bit of the beautiful Coachella Valley, but still, it's a pretty darn good day for ballooning, for enjoying, and for golf as well. The Santa Rosa Mountains, it's a little comfortable within these mountains. Temperature in the 50s, pushing the 60s as we get set for day two of the Skins game. Our four competitors have arrived at the tee of the 10th hole. Let's show you this hole that will be worth $30,000. It's a par four. Measuring 398 yards straight away, but probably won't see a driver. You can see the players lay up into this landing area that narrows. The mounding in the bunkers framing that landing area. You get a look at the green where there are no bunkers around, but it is heavily mounded. The flag is located about two-thirds of the way back on this green to the player's right. We go back to the tee on 10. Tom Lehman, who yesterday won the skin on the ninth hole, took home $130,000. He will play first. Straight away and down the middle for Lehman. Mark O'Mara won his skin on the fourth hole worth $20,000. And he has pulled out his driver. Mark is the shortest of these four players off the tee. Shot. O'Mara down the middle as well. Well done. Next on the team, again playing out of Orlando, Florida, is also Mr. Tiger Wood. <laughs> Tiger has pulled out a two iron. We saw him use that effectively a couple of times yesterday. Shot. Shot, Ty. A little draw, but it looks like that'll find the fairway as well. Good shot. Down. Thank you. Down. And now David Duval, who was gracious enough to cut short his Thanksgiving weekend to fill in for Fred Couples, our two-time defending champion whose father passed away this week, and our thoughts are with the Couples family again today. Good shot. Duval down the middle as well. So four in the fairway. Thirty thousand dollars on the line. Tenth hole as we open up day two of skins. And you guys rolling out of here. So hi everyone, Mike Tarico. so glad to have you back with us for day two of the 15th anniversary Skins game. If for some reason you were not with us yesterday, one quick review of the rules. You know each hole has a designated value. If we have an outright winner, they get the money for that hole. If two tie, all tie, the Skins and the money carry over. 
Here's how we break down the cash on day two. The next three holes, 10 through 12, each worth $30,000. Holes 13 through 17, worth $40,000 a piece. And the Toyota Super Skin, that's on the line on the 18th hole, it is worth $100,000. So today's best case scenario, all the carryovers to the 18th, and we play the final hole for $390,000 couple of other points of business each player will designate 20 percent of his winnings to certain charities that he has already chosen and for the winner a toyota avalon or sienna the car of his choice goes to the champion of the skins game let me bring in two-time skins game champion our abc golf analyst curtis strange tom layman the big winner day one does he come to the golf course today with any different mindset than let's say if he was shut out yesterday Mike, I don't think he has the same momentum because he went to bed, and any time you wake up the next day, that's gone. But he has that confidence that he played with yesterday. He played so very well, and when you have your pockets full, remember, they're playing for the money here, people. They're not playing for any trophy. And when you come into the second day, pockets full, he can play very aggressive, full throttle. He can be very dangerous and tough to beat today. Well, that means Tiger Woods with $60,000 comes in with the same attitude, right? Well, he can. I still think he has a lot of pressure on him, unlike Tom Lehman. Tiger has pressure on him any time he tees it up in this world. We all expect him to win every time, especially in the Skins game every year. Well, Curtis, we are joined here by six-time PGA Tour winner, a Skins competitor and commentator. He knows the Skins game so well. So good to have with us Peter Jacobs. And Jake, what's the attitude of the guys today? Thanks, Mike. Well, there's two different attitudes we have out here. Both Lehman and Tiger Woods feel good. They slept well. They played well yesterday. They won some money. But the other two players have a different attitude. Mark O'Meara played well but he didn't putt well. It'll be interesting to watch him today. He discovered that he was moving his head on his, on his putts, which moved his shoulders, which caused him to push the putts to the right. We noted that he missed everything to the right. Now, David Duvall has to make a complete change. Coming in as a replacement for couples, I think he was unprepared and he was uncomfortable. But in the history of the Skins game, there have been four players who were skunked the first day that came back to win the entire event on the second day. So watch Duvall. I think he's going to be tough today. Mike? Peter, the last player to do that, Fred Couples, back in 1995. We have behind it at the pen. Okay. Well, there is Tiger after that two iron that he hits so well off the tee. He's set to play first. Just a wedge. Good start, first green hit, first chance at birdie. So what you want to do here, hit a lot of greens and have a lot of opportunities for birdies. David Duval had the opportunity to play only about 11 of the holes when he arrived on Friday. So he has not seen every hole that he's going to play today. Nice shot. Thank you. That has to boost his confidence a bit. Well, you can keep tabs on the Skins game or anything else on ABC Sports on America Online. Just log in and the keyword, as always, ABC Sports. Now, Layman. 132. Yep. And as we said earlier, this man can play very aggressive. He won a lot of skins and a lot of money yesterday, and sometimes you can be very dangerous. Get close. Get close. Three nice shots in there, and now the player who's the shortest driver, Mark O'Meara. 119, huh? Eight behind him. Much like the first hole yesterday, he hits last here on 10 today. A little bit unlucky, has a little bit of a funny law there on the upslope of a drainage head there. Got to put the ball back in your stance and beat down on it. 
Nice lie after that good drive. And thus the result. But four on the green. Day two of the Skins game will start. To see who's got the hot putter on this Sunday in the desert. ABC Sports presentation of the Skins game. Brought to you by Toyota. Every day belongs to you. Make it count. Toyota every day. Taylor made find your game with a new bigger longer TI bubble 2 driver Anderson consulting helping our clients change to be more successful and black and Decker all the new cordless power tools powered by VersaPak built by black and Decker we're back at the skins game thirty thousand dollars on the line on the tenth hole four putts at a birdie starting with the longest one from Mark O'Mara So now it will be Tiger Woods. Good. Tiger's putting has been something that he has worked on a lot, and we've seen in the major championships that he wasn't happy with his putting. Uh, that's a part of the game that, even if you have a great game tee to green like Tiger, can come and go, right? Well, he should. He's 21 years old, and, and I, most 21-year-olds are good putters, but what he and Butch Harmon, his coach, have worked on is getting a little more hands, a little more hinging back and through for more feel in the putting. He's been very stiff over the years, more cocking and uncocking. He was so close on so many putts right. yesterday. <clears throat> Four times Tiger putted to win skins, and only one he was successful on the par three third hole, where he won his three skins. I think that was the best part of his game yesterday, his putting. He rolled the ball well. His speed was good. Clear. Nice. I dull a little bit. Layman hung yeah. around all day yesterday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Until he ended up winning. Skins on the 8th and ninth hole. It's pretty straight, Andrew. I like it straight up the gut. Maybe going here right at the end. You like that? Tom in conversation with his caddy, Andy Martinez. He's very close to standing on Duval's coin. He's going to give him a good read, but he's also got to be concerned about stepping in his line. Oh. Left. Well, a chance to break the seal for David Duval. You may know that David Duval had the great finish, finished second this year on the That's money fine. list. Won the last three tournaments he started, but you may not know much about the guy who's normally behind the sunglasses. Dave's father, Bob, is here <laughs> caddying. Bob, a member of the senior tour. But another part of the Duval family story, Say hi. David's late older brother, Brent, was 12 years old when David was nine. Brent was in need of a bone marrow transplant, and David was the donor. Unfortunately, Brent didn't make it. A loss in this family, still a great golf family. And so nice that on this holiday weekend, father and son can be here together at the Skins game, sharing in each other's great year. And now David, a chance to break the seal. This went left, too. A good bit. Well, it will carry over to the yeah, 11. It's hard to believe it'll do that. Feels good to you. He did it by laser. He did. I kind of yeah. saw a little bit after... Tom said something, but it's hard to Sixty thousand dollars on the line at the eleventh hole. The winner of the Skins game will have their choice. They could take home a Sienna. What do we got here, bud? 
Tom Lehman, 11 tours played during those five years from 86 to 91. Man who, on a couple of different occasions, missed getting his car to Q School by one stroke. Now, one of the four players playing for $60,000 as we move to the 11th hole, par three, 170 yards. And he credits his wife, Melissa, for a lot of that it support might be just slightly too, maybe. to the position he is now. I think it might be kind of helping this slightly. Yeah. set that back on the tee. Well, whoever wins the par three skin will find themselves donating to their charity a 1998 American-built Toyota Avalon XLS. It will be appropriate if Lehman would do it on this hole after we watched all of his sojourns around the mini tours considering he had a car that he put 160,000 miles on when he was going from tour to tour back in the late 80s. Here's Mark. Tough flagstick position for Mark. He draws every shot. And you see there, he played away from the water. Tiger Woods, his caddy, Fluff, Mike Cowan, Tiger's taking a seven iron. We saw David Duval with a very good iron into the green at 10. One thing David is very good at is when he gets on and starts going to flags, he does not hold back. Very aggressive. Watch the full swing. You never see him back off. Releases on every shot. So as they head up to the green, Tiger and Tom will have birdie shots, and Peter Jacobson's up there with uh, an old friend, perhaps, Peter. Hey, you know, I, I, this is really a great pleasure for me. Mike Cowan, everybody knows him as Fluff. Tell me a little bit about the excitement that you've seen. I mean, I know you've catered for some bums in the past, but uh, <laughs> what, what have you seen this year with Tiger? I mean, he's an incredible player, but, but what in the world's going on with, the, with all the things surrounding him? Well, the golf has been phenomenal that's almost a given with what people's watched him do uh, the the excitement outside the ropes has been something for me to see uh, all of the, the the different ethnic people that are coming to watch golf the kids have tripled in in size in the gallery to, to my eye uh, it, it's it's been uh, a great time for me uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say right on air how much I miss you, <laughs> but uh, the, the, everything that I've experienced this year has been, been an awesome experience for me. Probably the most important thing is it's great for the game of golf, isn't uh, it? The game of golf is, is uh, benefiting greatly from this, I believe, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, good luck. All right, Jake. And go get them. All right. Thanks, Mike. Peter Jacobson's old caddy, Tiger Woods' current caddies, handed Tiger a putter could be putting for $60,000 when you come back to the Skins game. Welcome back. There is Mark O'Mara playing his second at the par 3 11. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a lot of holes, huh? Yeah. I mean, gee, Louise, give me a break. 
You guys gonna give me that? That was good. It's awful nice of you. Thank I you. can't say on TV what, what happened to you there, so I won't say anything. It's not bad for an old man, is it? Huh? <laughs> Mark is age 40. David Duval Mark just turned 26. <laughs> you got hoses. I'm swinging. If you were not with us yesterday, David had told us that he's basically been working out, trying to stay in shape. He's lost 45 pounds and looks terrific. He's continuing his weightlifting regimen and cardiovascular exercise, but he said almost every muscle in his body is sore. <laughs> Well, he hasn't been yeah. practicing a whole lot. You could see that yesterday. It was a bit rusty. But sometimes it only takes a day. Get back in the rhythm, swing of things. They look a lot faster than what they actually are rolling this morning. Well, now, Tiger and Tom, in their close, will have a run at birdie. Tom Lehman did not win on the PGA Tour this year. He didn't win at Loch Lomond, but we asked him if it was disappointing to not have a PGA Tour victory the year after being the player of the year. A little bit. Uh, but on the flip side, I was just a couple swings away from another great year. So you can look at it both ways. You know, I didn't quite get what I wanted, but I was very, very close. Uh, just a few swings away, a few putts away. And, that, and really, golf is kind of like that. You, you can do almost the exact same thing, but if you're just you know, missing a putt here and there, you know, you're going to have you know, worse results. And so I, I just know that this year was close to being a, another repeat of last year. And you think of the playoff with Tiger Woods? Just outside the left edge. In the season opening yeah, Mercedes really Championship? Layman finishing third at the U.S. Open. Yeah. Let's go down to Peter while we have a second. Mike, I'm standing with Mark O'Meara. Mark, you got uh, you got taken on that shot. That ball hit the pin right in the middle. You know, uh, Peter, I was just trying to get it close, give it a chance, and uh, you know, it looked like it was going to go in, but that's just luck of the game. And uh, from that distance, you're not going to pull the pin out. Tom's spot here is your break. Looks like a double breaker, a little from the right to left and then back to the right at the end. Just like that. <laughs> Tom, it took him a little while to get going, but uh, that's a lot of birdies and, and quite a few holes. Well, you know, Tom is obviously a very, very solid player, evident what he approved last year on the PGA Tour. And, you know, he's a very good putter, good driver of the ball. He's got uh, not many flaws in his game, and he's, he's on a roll right now. Now we got to hope Tiger makes this one for us. Now your allegiance switches very quick. You're pulling against Tom. Now, now, you're, now you're... Knock it in, Tiger. Come on, bud. <laughs> now you're pulling for Tiger. Absolutely. He'll make this one. Hopefully this is what this kid's all about. He's such a good player. <laughs> it is that right edge. He yeah. loves this type of situation. He loves the competition. Yeah. And, and I would I would expect him to make this no problem. You play a lot of golf and spend a lot of time with him. He's got he's pretty intense, isn't he? Uh, Peter, he's very intense. Uh, at 21, the desire he has to win uh, is tremendous. And he's played some great golf. But, you know, uh, like anybody, he's a human being. And he can't perform to everybody's expectations. He has to do what he thinks is best. Hard to believe that. <laughs> Two skins, sixty thousand dollars for Tom Lehman. God, what did I win? <laughs> they hit a perfect. Putt. Tom Lehman, sixty thousand dollars. Congratulations, picking up where you left off yesterday. That was a good putt there. It was a uh, center cut all the way. I liked it. Well, I also uh, have the keys for a. Uh, 1998 Toyota Avalon to be wow. given to your favorite charity. Well, good. I'll appreciate it. Thank you very much. It'll, uh, it'll go to a good cause. Well, you're, uh, the thing I, I, that impressed us yesterday is you played so well, but you stayed patient. Now you're putting well also. Well, the, the speed is everything out here. And even when you, you know you have to make a putt, you still have to hit the right speed or else you're not going to make it. So that's, I'm just trying to get the right speed and get up, up to the hole and see if it drops in. Well, keep it up. All right, Peter. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Tom. Well, I had those two skins along with the car keys, and now Tom Lehman has won seven skins and $190,000. Look at that pin. Welcome back. We are at the 12th hole, a par five. Mark O'Mara has pulled out an iron. Well, you think he might have tried a three with it to get to the front of the green, but this is the way he would normally play in a tournament. Lay up to give himself 80 yards in. 
This ball's down the left side. Well, the pictures from up top come from the MetLife Blimp. Snoopy 2 providing the aerial coverage of the Skins game combined. Snoopy 1 and Snoopy 2 will have covered over 70 televised events in 1997. So look to the skies for Snoopy and the MetLife Blimp. They're giving us great perspective on the length off the tee of this 567-yard hole. Tom Lehman to play next. He's got a good lie, and he's got a lot of money in his pocket, so he's going for it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but if he does miss to the right, it'll be a very difficult chip. This is a low bullet right at it. Oh, okay. Well, Tom told you that it did end up on the upslope and didn't get into that bunker. Now, David's got 267 yards to the hole, and again, I think he just needs to get something started. He's got a pretty decent lie. He's hitting a fairway wood, ball sitting up. This is high, right at it, maybe a little bit to the right. Duval coming up just short of that bunker. Came out a little soft. Peter, Tiger drove it the farthest. Does he have any chance yeah. at getting there? Well, he's, uh, he's 320 off the tee, and he's on a pretty flat lie. The ball's down. It's down in the grass, but he's got a fairway wood. I, again, this is part of the game that... Uh, I, I just can't do. I, I don't think many players in the game can get a ball out of this kind of grass with a fairway wood and get it, get it anywhere near the green, but this well, kid obviously can. Peter, we've seen him time and time again, and a lot of the majors try miracle shots, and uh, some of that is from impatience. Well, after missing, he, the, after missing that eight-footer back there, uh, you know he's burning. But you said he can do some things we can't do. This is way right. There's that impatience, Curtis, you were talking about. Good point. Well, now he's got virtually an impossible third shot on the downslope out of the heavy rough. And as you see there, only about six or seven steps to work with over a deep bunker. I wouldn't want that one. Well, I think, I think that also talks a little bit about his age. I think as he gets a little bit older and a little bit wiser on the golf course, I think he's going to understand that with the other three players not in, not in great pl uh, position, he could maybe lay up and go ahead and just slip that four in there. Well, Peter, Tiger's age 21. The guy standing to your left is age 26. Another one of the young guns on the PGA Tour, David Duval. No sunglasses today. Uh, is it a question of style or substance for those glasses? Well, it all started my senior year in in college we play our ACC tournament in Rocky Mountain North Carolina and uh, it's it tends to be like eight, late April uh, I believe the tournament is sometime in that area and pollen season and that year was particularly bad and it was windy and uh, as everybody knows who plays golf you can see clouds of pollen at time and it was it was probably worse than you'd ever seen certainly that I had ever seen and wearing contacts, uh, at the time I was wearing gas permeable, which are basically hard contacts. Uh, I, it was just too much. It was getting in my eyes. I couldn't, I couldn't function. And so I started wearing them that week to guard, from try to keep some, keep some of it out of my eyes. And it worked extremely well. Uh, and, uh, and, and I noticed through it all that uh, how much more relaxed your eyes are uh, because you're not squinting either. Uh, and, and so you have open eyes and not kind of half shut from squinting. And, and basically since then I've, I've, worn, I've worn them. Well, there's the answer. Many of you have been wondering. There's a practical purpose for David Duval wearing those wraparound sunglasses. Mark O'Mara is third now at the par five. Little pitching wedge from 106 yards. Thank you. Thanks. 
take this second to remind you of Championship Saturday. Great college football coming up next Saturday on ABC Sports. The WAC title game, Colorado State, New Mexico. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 championship game. Number two, Nebraska against Texas A&M. The SEC championship presented by Dr. Pepper in primetime. Peyton Manning and the Tennessee Volunteers take on the Auburn Tigers. Triple heaven, Championship Saturday, next Saturday on ABC Sports. Tom Lehman set to play his third, and Curtis, when we were back in the fairway a short time ago, talking about the player's strategy for their second shots, the guy who laid up may end up being in the best position on this hole. Could be. You see a very, very difficult shot here. Tom has to try to throw up a sand wedge and clear that crest that you see that you can't see the bottom of the flagstick. Which is why he's one of the best players in the world. <laughs> so, so much for Mark being in the best position. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, what a wonderful shot. Nice shot there, Tom. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, there's still a lot of luck involved in that. Very nice. It's Thank funny you. how those good players have all the Pretty luck, nice. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Get to see Tom's family, including his dad, who's been so instrumental in Tom's golf career. David Duval, whose dad is out here caddying for him at the Skins game. A little bit of a tougher angle. Less green to work with. No. Well, David just li looks rusty from being at home. They're the type of shots there that you need practice, you need the feel. You need the imagination. You better have a lot of imagination with this one, Peter, don't you think? Well, he, he got real lucky right in the middle of three trees. He's got a good lie. The ball's above his feet so he can get the club under the ball and knock this thing straight up in the air. And he's got something to work with. This is the magic that this kid's all about. He can hit shots like this. Very nicely done. He makes it look easy, but that was a very difficult, difficult shot. Well, before Mark O'Mara putts, we know that Tiger Woods looks up to him and gets some guidance. Who did Mark look up to when he first came on the PGA Tour? I would say I grew up pretty much in the Jack Nicklaus era, where Jack was obviously the greatest player. He probably is the greatest player of all time as we speak. And uh, I admired the way he won golf tournaments, his great mental capabilities that he has in the golf course, his determination. But as I came on the tour and played with a lot of different pros, I would say that Arnold Palmer would be my hero. I mean, he'd be the guy that if I was a, a young person today growing up, I would say look to obviously Jack Nicklaus, the way he can play and compete, but also Arnold Palmer, who really has made the game pretty much what it is today and the way he deals with people, the way he treats the gallery, the fans. and. To me, that's very, very special because if it wasn't for the fans and it weren't for the people out there watching on TV or coming out and pulling for us, I mean, we wouldn't be playing professional golf. So, you know, I, I would have to say Arnold Palmer. Double breaker. Huh? David Duval will putt first. All four players on this putting surface. And all four putting for birdie here at the par five. Downhill putt, and he just said to his father, Bob, this is a double breaker. It's going to go from left and then back to the right. This is a very difficult hole location. You can't really see the slopes, but it it's in the middle of about three different slopes. You heard Mark talking to Tiger and said, one of us better roll this in because Tom Lehman, not only is he in there close, he's hot. That momentum did carry over a little bit. Maybe confidence, not momentum. Well, if there are easy putts on this green to this hole, this one is 
This one is it. A little bit uphill. Fairly straight. Let's see if he keeps his head still. Try. Okay. Pars on par fives normally don't get it done. Same true here. Well, at least O'Meara's putt showed Tiger the line. It didn't break as much to the right as he thought. There's a slope to Tiger's left, which comes down severely, which I think fools the players into thinking it's going to break more to the right. He stepped too early. <laughs> That's about four or five putts over the yeah. two days that he has been like that oh, close to making. Huh? <laughs> yeah, That's all I get. Yeah, he is rolling the ball well. Tiger has got great speed and great line. They're just not catching the hole and going in. Should we give it to him? Yeah. <laughs> One has gone in last two days. It's straight in. Yeah. It looks like it may go hair left off this ridge, but the hole is sitting like this. Yeah. Yesterday, Tom Lehman won the eighth, then the ninth, a par three, then a par five. After winning the par three eleventh, this to win the par five twelfth. So Tom Lehman has won the last eight skins, $220,000. Got some work to do, guys, to catch up to him. Next hole worth $40,000. Oh, All right, Tom, thank you. Awesome. Value now up to $40,000 for the next few holes, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 will be worth $40,000. The Toyota Super Skin on 18, the final hole worth $100,000. <laughs> Tom Lehman, I mean, somebody better start catching up to him here. Well, and they feel the pressure, too. As you see Tom preparing to hit a full iron. But he's playing so well, they know, standing on every tee, huh? <laughs> that they have to do something special. Hit some incredible shot to beat this guy right now. And that in itself creates a lot of pressure and makes you do some things you ordinarily might not do. Par 3, 206 yards, and Lehman first. Flagstick way back left. Perfect for Tom Lehman. Well, this shot is this shot is tailor made for Tom Lehman. It's right at it. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> if anybody can get inside that. Well, this is what goes to the golfer closest to the hole, the all-new versatile 1998 Toyota Sienna for his charity. And I can't tell you how when you start playing well in a skins game, you start playing so aggressive. You just saw Tom in there. It just, it just builds and builds and builds. Marco Mera also with the four iron, starting at the middle of the green, turning it toward the flag. Great. It's a good shot, Peter, but it doesn't do him any good when Layman's playing like he's playing. Well, when you get up at a skins game like this and you start throwing at the flag, it really puts the pressure on the other players and they start getting down on themselves. They've got to stay patient and stay up and know that every hole has a, has a value. They can creep closer to Layman.
That's a five iron from Tiger. Looks good. There's a response. And David Duval's got a four iron. And it is getting serious out there. There's not much talk. It's uh <laughs> changes real quick from that tenth tee, didn't it? It certainly <laughs> does. There's Tom Lehman doesn't have a whole lot doesn't have three friends right now. <laughs> This ball is left. Back here. Oh. Well, you mentioned Tom Lehman doesn't have friends. Tiger Woods has many, made many friends and admirers this year on the golf course and off the golf course as well. Some of the work with the Tiger Woods Foundation. $40,000 on the line and one skin here at the 13th hole. David Duval, who missed the green played a very difficult second shot went well past the flag stick now Mark O'Mara putting for birdie and he feels like he has to make this just to get a half it's red tomorrow night on ABC Sports Monday night football huge game in the NFC Central the Packers lead by one game over the Vikings Brett Favre and the Super Bowl champs go into a tough place to play for them, the Metrodome. 9 Eastern, ABC's Monday Night Football. Well, Tom Lehman, with half the money divvied up already, has jumped out to a huge advantage here at the Skins game. There's still $300,000 out there, so the day is not done for the other players, but Tom Lehman is on quite a roll. Pick your coin up, it's reflecting. Well, I'll tell you what, Tom Lehman is playing so well and putting so well. Tiger Woods is inside of him, but Tiger in his own mind has almost given this putt to Tom. He feels like he's trying to prepare himself to putt just for a half. What do you see, Andrew? Becomes a match play situation right now in a, in a, in a right. sort of way. But I don't see a lot. What do you see? I thought it was going here, right? I think it's inside the left edge. I think it's definitely inside the hole. a little bit. It's okay. You got some buddies out here. <laughs> birdie every hole now. <laughs> He's birdied three of the last four holes Very nice. here today. And this is not, this takes wind out of your sails, I think. As we said earlier, that to putt for the wind is exciting and, and, and fun, but to putt for a have is tougher to do. Just to try to keep that skin going makes the putt even that much tougher. This is not a replay, even though it's looked the same. Tiger almost makes his putt. Tom Lehman wins another skin. That is nine consecutive skins for Tom Lehman, one shy of the record. And he has now won $260,000. Tiger, I know this is not a very good time to talk to you after you missed that putt, but I want to bring in Yale Giesel, who's the executive vice president of Toyota Motor Sales USA. Uh, because you hit that five iron so close, the closest of the four, you win a, you win a prize. 
Tiger, that was a great shot off the Thank tee. You. On behalf of the Toyota dealers in the United States, and in the spirit of working with children, we'd like to present the keys to that great-looking Toyota Sienna to your foundation, the Tiger Woods Foundation. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate Congratulations. It. Thanks. Thanks, Yale. Hey, I know, I know this is getting tough. You've had three putts in a row for, oh, for birdies. About it. But what, what would you say right now you need to do? Be patient? Uh, be patient or um, maybe pick up my speed a little bit, take a little lower line because I've missed, uh, I think, all of them on the low side. Uh, if I can pick up my speed, I think I might be all right. All right well, good luck. Yale, yeah, thanks to you. Foot. And thanks to everybody at Toyota. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Well, Tom Lehman kind of taking over here a little bit. Can somebody fire a salvo back on the par 4 14th? The par 4 14th hole measures 438 yards. All four players will probably lay up here with either a three wood or one iron. As you can see, the fairway pinches in right there. After a good tee shot, all four players will be left with about 175 yards in. Today's hole location, right in the middle of the green. And you get to look at the flag stick here on 14, 24 paces back, the green 42 paces deep. We move up some 438 yards to the tee. Tom. Tom, Tom, the beat keeps going on. You didn't like that, Curtis? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just make faces at me. You speak up, buddy. You disappoint me. <laughs> Peter's at a three with a driver. That is a driver down the right side, turning back to the left. Beautiful tee shot. Well, he's loose, Curtis. He's just, uh, he's just, he's got, got everything going for him right now. There's no fear and there's no reason it should be. If he misses a shot, well, go to the next hole, but everything's coming off exactly where he's aiming. It's a nice feeling to have. Marco Mera. Did he? Thanks, man. Thanks, sir. Well done. Right. Yeah, I like that. That was better. Thanks. Beauty. As you've been able to tell over the last couple of days, Tiger and Mark, such good friends, neighbors in Orlando. Tiger calls Mark Mo. Aggressive tee shot there by Almira. Driving it in that real tight fairway. Tiger also with a driver. May have heard somebody speak up hey, in his backswing. <laughs> Maybe they should try to do that with Lehman in his backswing. <laughs> Equal things out. Shot. This is huge down the middle. Nice huge. One, well done. It's a beauty there. Great shot. Well, so much for my aerial that they would lay up on this hole. <laughs> Tiger's just driven it through past the pinched in area. 30 yards past that, probably would just have a little flip wedge into the screen. And David Duval. Yes. Yeah. Nice, hey, David. That's the way. Thank Good one, bud. Good swing. Piping. All right, four in the fairway Down off the, the tee, but they're trying to find a way to stop Tom Lehman, who's just set a skins game record, winning three consecutive holes. Welcome back, everybody, to the skins game. I'm joined right now by the chairman of this year's skins game, Bob Barrett. Bob, what a, what a difference a year makes. Well, it really has. I mean, look at the maturity of the golf course, the condition, uh, and then the, the maturity of the entire development. It's just been a fabulous year, and uh, what a turnout. Yesterday and today, the crowds have just been superb, and uh, everybody seems to be enjoying themselves, and, the, you know, the camaraderie of the players this year just seems so good, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm impressed with the condition of the golf course. I played in the Pro-Am on Friday, and the greens are beautiful. They're, they're rolling great. They're pretty quick. They really are. Jeff Pritchard and Mark Sundin, our two golf course superintendents, have just done a fabulous job for us. Welcome. Congratulations to you and everybody at Rancho La Quinta. Now let's get back to the action. Tom Lehman with a seven iron. Second shot on the 14th hole. Flag stick right in the middle of the green. Very accessible. Another one right at it. What's new? 
Yeah. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> That'll do. Slide. <laughs> shot. Well done. Beautiful <laughs> shot. Thank nice putt. Good side. birdie. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got, man? <laughs> David Duvall, 156. He's going to make a sign that says, good shot, good putt, well done, way to go. Probably like, just a smooth good. seven iron. So we made a shot and we're just going like he's going. Stay right on. Yeah. Uh, Not bad. Go on. Good shot. 151, huh, bud? Can I get an eight there? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Good one, isn't it? What else is there? Good shot. I think it's the other one. You don't get above the hole. All done. Nice three. All right. Nice birdie. Nice skin. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> now Mark with an eight iron from 151. And he's got to stuff it in there. Nice swing. Wow. Get on the green. Yeesh. Peter, how much farther did Tiger hit it off the tee? Well, he hit it only 38 yards past everybody else. He absolutely murdered that. He's got some frustration. He's got some, uh, he's got some anger. He's only got about 110 yards to the hole, which will probably be a sand wedge. He's looking at Layman's ball, which is sitting up there about 8 or 10 feet. Peter, it looks like about the reason Layman is, or the re, Lame, Tom Layman is playing so well, it just puts so much pressure on the other guys to put it in there close in every hole. And because of that, they don't hit the shots that they normally would hit. He does have a sand wedge. Right at it. Well, Tom Lehman, he's been the one taking all the money here in his first year at the Skins game, but how about the all-time <clears throat> financial story? 1996 champion Fred Couples tops the list with over $1.1 million. He's the only competitor in Skins game history to be in the seven-figure column. In four Skins game appearances, Payne Stewart has netted $840,000 to rank second on the Skins money list. Rounding out the top seven, Fuzzy Zeller, Tom Watson, Jack Nicklaus, and Curtis Strain. Well, Tom Lehman at the green at 14 has an opportunity to make some Skins games milestones, winning a 10th consecutive skin, possibly taking the championship for this event, but first the putt of Mark O'Mara. You called it. That's what I was You did call about. it. All right. Okay. That was that perfect little That's flaming like eight iron. That Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Andrew. Well, the guy who was well. least happy with his shot from the fairway makes right, the birdie putt. Yep. You see? I told you you got a putter. <laughs> well, it's kind of a no-brainer, I think. That's the Marco Mare that I know right there. He's making everything. Oh man, tell when he gets putting Look out. Now Duval. Guys, I'm here with Mark O'Meara. You finally put a stop to this train wreck called a mm -hmm. layman. Well, like Tiger said back there, nice drive, Tom. Nice second shot, great putt. Uh, he's been playing some great golf, birdie in every hole, having very makeable putts. You know, Tom Layman's that kind of player. Uh, when I hit my bad second shot there, Tiger says, you know, this is the kind of putt that just might go in, this long, sneaking, sliding putt. And sure enough, it went in. So, you know, I, hopefully we can at least get a tie out of this hole. Now, what does Tiger have here? 
Tiger Spots, uh, you know, speed buddy told me he feels like he's stroking it good, but his speed is just a little too easy, so he needs to be just a little more aggressive, probably just outside the right edge. Just the, the oh, green right. because the golf course I think is new. Uh, I think it's very difficult to read some of the green speed. Wow, There's a lot of double up. breaking going on. You know, it fooled him right there, as you can it's tell. So you know, it's just uh, now it comes down to Tom. But as we know, he hasn't really missed one of these, so I wouldn't expect him to miss this. Don't you find that greens like this here at Rancho La Quinta they're fairly flat, but they've got some undulations and some slopes that are hard to read? Very much so. You know, I think the key is is to get on the right side of the cup to where That's maybe right. only have that single type break, like. Uh, for example, Tom's putt here. I mean, it's just a perfect putt. It's a little downhill. It's a right to left putt yeah, all the way. It. Uh, it's just a matter of getting it started <laughs> on the right, right line with the correct speed, and you make it because the greens are good. Is that you see? Maybe just inside the edge. Well, he's been putting to win skins. Let's see how he handles a putt to tie a skin. Them all. What can you say? Hey, pretty He's much the man almost right all. Now. <laughs> nice putt, Tom. Birdie the so last two yesterday's. <laughs> birdie four out of five today. All right, guys. Carry over. Fifteenth hole coming up worth eighty grand. With the carry over, the fifteenth hole is worth eighty thousand dollars. Doesn't look like a long par four, and Peter will tell us it's not. The fifteenth hole here at Rancho La Quinta is three hundred and eight yards this year, some thirty yards shorter than it played last year, and. It's a par four. Sounds tough to all of you at home, but to these guys, it's a long par three. The club of choice, I think, is a driver. But the key to this hole will be determined by what the first player does. If the first player gets up and hits it on the green with a driver, it's going to force the other three players into doing the same thing. But if he lays up and plays conservatively, it makes the other three players think. Last year, John Daly goaded Tiger Woods into hitting the driver when Tiger wanted to hit a two iron. Subsequently, hit it to the right made a bogey, and Fred Couples made a birdie by laying up and won the event on this hole. So the key here, what's the first player going to do? She's not my... That's the magic question. And the first player is the hot player as well. And big surprise, Tom Lehman's laying up. Hmm. Well, it is. 285 to the front of the green. That's a long ways. And the way he's playing, he can make birdie from anywhere. This is perfect. Uh, all right. I think he's thinking now about winning the event now. I think he thinks just a few more, uh, a few more skins, he's going to win this thing outright. Next one he wins, and he does win the event. Oh, like well, like we talked about. His ball's well short of that. Lehman went off conservative, and now O'Meara's going with the two iron down the right side. These other three guys have to think about trying to stop Lehman. Well, a forearm to the chin would do nicely, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a crackback block. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Duvall and Tiger certainly have the length to go. Let's see what they do. I think Tiger certainly will. Here we go. Once again, 285 to the front of the green. He can certainly hit it far enough. Water left of the green. If you miss to the right, it'll be a very difficult pitch. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Good. Yeah. 
That's perfect trajectory though. I slipped. <laughs> Duval with an iron. Beauty. That's a big surprise for me. Guys, I thought he'd go at it after watching Tiger knock it on. Pretty impressive there, son. Thanks, sir. Thank you get to be my age, you'll be laying it up over here, though. I'm in a wheelchair. Right? <laughs> when he gets to be our age, son, you'll be... Well, maybe not. Maybe not. There's a 19-year age tired. difference between Mark O'Mara and Tiger Woods, and in those 19 years, Mark O'Mara's had great 50, success, 50 including... Driver. At Pebble Beach. No player has more victories on the PGA Tour than Sam Snead. Amazingly, a record eight of his 81 career wins came at the same event, the Greater Greensboro Open. Earlier this season, Marco Mara moved closer to Snead's feet as he again staked his claim at the Pebble Beach Golf Links in California. Back in 1985, O'Mara marched his way to a first AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am Championship. In 1989, he again triumphed at Pebble by a single shot, outlasting Tom Kite. One year later, O'Mara walked away the victor at Pebble Beach, this time by two strokes. And he claimed his fourth Pebble Beach crown in 1992, outlasting Jeff Sluman in a playoff. This season, the California native outlasted Tiger Woods over the final round, birdieing two of the last three holes to capture his fifth AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. And though he trails Mr. Sneed by 67 career wins, Mark needs only three more Pebble Beach crowns to officially establish this jewel on the Monterey Peninsula as his Greensboro. O'Mara's had success over the years at Pebble Beach. Tom Lehman's had quite a day here at Rancho La Quinta. Quite a two days, matter of fact. Second shot at 15. With a pitching wedge from 106 yards. I must have pulled it. It's not eight feet. Well, the season premiere of Payne Weber College Basketball comes your way uh, one week from today on ABC Sports. The Kansas Jayhawks, Rafe LaFrentz and company winning the preseason NIT, take on the Maryland Terrapins. Kansas, Maryland, Payne Weber College Basketball, a week from today on ABC. Duval second. With the sand wedge, pulled that left to the hole. And I really think he laid up off the tee two reasons. One is it's 285 to the front. He really didn't think he could get it on and keep it on the green. And the other thing, even though Tiger's on the green in, in one shot, two putt for birdie, if he puts it in play, it's just more of an opportunity for these three guys to have Tiger and carry the skin over to the next hole. O'Meara with 90 yards. on the green in two, but Tiger's just off the putting surface in one on the par four. And even though Tiger drove the green, he's left himself with a very difficult two putt. Downhill and a big swinger from left to right. One, you expect yourself to two putt, but you don't expect to put it very, very close on the first putt. That's one of those reads, Peter, you blame on your caddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love to blame things on our caddy. That putt broke about uh, six feet from left to right, and then it got by the hole, and it just started it started straightening out and actually tailed a little left. Tiger driving the green that got such a great reaction from the crowd. Crowds all over the world react to Tiger like that. Why has he become so world popular? I think overall, everyone wants to see the long ball. Um, everybody wants to see me hit the ball a long ways, and I think that's what draws people out because uh, golf is now becoming a global sport when so many people in all various countries are now picking up the game, and most amateurs don't hit the ball as far as the pros and the the distances I can hit it uh, people are are intrigued by it and just want to go out and, and see 
what that looks like in, in person. Saw David Duval's attempt at birdie. Remember, Mark O'Mara hit that great second shot in there. He's going to have a run at birdie as well here, as Tom Lehman will. And David Duval at this point of the, of the game is just trying to, he's trying to think to himself, how in the world am I going to get a skin? <laughs> It's difficult, and you think like that. These guys are playing so well. They're three of the best players in the world, and he's a little rusty. Again, he's been home and can't quite figure out how to get it in for birdie. Well, Tom Lehman's got about 12 feet, the longest putt he's had today. I don't see it going right at all. I think it's, I think it's pretty straight. You like that? Tom's made three birdie, four birdies today, three yesterday. Another birdie would give him. It feels eight. like it's going to go right at the beginning, though. Yeah. How about left center? Okay. Left center. And eight birdies would tie the Skins game record. A compromise between player and caddy. <laughs> You have to go by feel here. Remarkable. He's he's playing so well, and you know you can see the confidence oozing out of him. What's the course record out here, anyways? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a kiss of death right there. <laughs> What's the course record? <laughs> Come on, partner, you got it. <laughs> now, Mark O'Meara again. You got it. Tiger. Six or seven feet for the birdie and the have. $120,000 on the line next. ABC Sports presentation of the Skins Game. Brought to you by Fidelity Investments, where 12 million investors put their trust. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And Anderson Consulting, helping our clients change to be more successful. Well, Lehman and O'Mara, like they did on 14, both birdie 15 to have the hole. We carry over three skins, $120,000 on the line at 16. And here's Curtis with a look at the hole. When the players reach the 16th hole, the 435-yard dogleg left par four, three of them have a decision to make. Mark O'Mara does not. He will probably put a three-wood right in this area, right in the dogleg, and after that tee shot, be left with about 150 in. The other three players either will lay up here in this area or try to carry the bunker, which is 290 yards. After that, be left with less than 100 yards in, either a pitch or wedge or sand wedge. So who has the advantage after four tee shots in the fairway? Well, I'm betting on the guys with a wedge versus a seven or eight iron, especially to a back left hole location. Compliment you on that read back there in that first putt. <laughs> the hole is 28 paces back, the green 45 paces deep here at 16. Tom Lehman, as he has all day, retaining the honor. Let him play. Let him play. <laughs> what happened? He's birdied the last five holes. Oh, he's only he's just joking around. Yeah, around the tee, no space. His eight birdies for the Skins game this year, equaling our partner, Mr. Strange, who did it in 1990. Oh, 
Oh, and the that. stops there as Lehman no, missed the fairway finally. No, you don't. Here's what's coming up primetime tonight on okay. ABC. The yeah. wonderful world of Disney presents an all-new okay. version of the classic Love Bug at 7, 6 Central. Then a network premiere that brings Mortal Kombat home. Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia star in Street Fighter. The ABC Sunday night movie. There's your primetime story tonight on ABC. Coming off back-to-back -back birdies, Mark O'Mara. He'll do in the middle. Well, it was in the middle, but it ran a little bit too far and got in the short rough. Tiger Woods with a driver will go straight over the left bunker, right at the green. That's a 290-yard carry. By don't go in the water. Come on, David. Caught the tree. Money all day. Catch the tree and go in the water. I don't know. It looks sound like those guys act like it caught the tree. Is that? It did, and it's safe as you can see. They can't see back from the tee. David Duval, the only one hitting a fairway wood off the tee. Beautiful. Nice shot. Nice. Just take it just, just straight. That's what you're trying to do? I'll try to do it with a tongue and a left bunker. Just you know, the little right bump. on the top of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stand. The home of the Skins game for this year and next is Rancho La Quinta Country Club, a spectacular 700-acre master plan community located in this dramatic cove area of La Quinta. In addition to a choice of homes from casitas adjacent to the racquet club to fairway homes and luxurious custom estates, Rancho La Quinta's resort lifestyle offers a wonderful choice of recreational facilities, including a racquet club with nine tennis courts, swimming pool and spa, a private dining room, jogging and bike paths, and a fully equipped fitness center. Residents and members also enjoy this championship Robert Trent Jones Jr. designed golf course, an early California-style clubhouse, and some of the best views of the desert, including lush fairways, sparkling lakes, and rugged mountains. Construction will begin on a permanent golf clubhouse in 1998. Well, in the last 12 months since we were here last, everything has grown up, looks so great. Doesn't it look fantastic? Uh, we're excited about it. Uh, the golf course just looks great. Uh, the golf course designed by Robert Trent Jones, Jr. We're just happy to be the host to the 15th anniversary of the Skins game. Congratulations. Thank you, Peter, and we're looking forward to a great time. The man who's been dominant over the two days hasn't missed a green today. From 183 yards with the six iron out of the light rough. Trying to turn it to the back left pin, it looks good. You can see his right foot slip out from under him. The wind is coming back in their face a little bit. He caught it heavy. It looked good from here. It's going to make the players think about the wind. Kind of like yesterday. In the last couple holes, the wind picked up. It's doing the same today. Peter, does Tom wear soft spikes? You know, I'm going to go walk over there and look under his shoes. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like he does. He and does. that once in a while, you do slip, and that right foot goes out from under you. Yeah. Well, like the driver pick up the camera guy. David Duvall next with 163 yards into the wind. Going to play I'm probably like about 170. <laughs> Drill it. Take this picture. The good news for David is that these skins are being tied the last three or four holes and the money's building up. I mean, we've seen it before. Uh, David could slip in there on the last hole and win the whole thing. He just needs to keep it together. This is seven iron. Did that too much? Well, that's MetLife's aerial ambassador, Snoopy2, providing today's bird's eye view of the golf action below. The MetLife blimp equipped with a state-of-the-art camera system that, as you've seen, is able to track a golf ball in flight from that altitude of 1,200 feet. Marco Mira next from 150 yards. He's got an 8-iron. A little bit of a flyer lie.
Now, where did Tiger end up, Peter? The Tiger did carry the bunker on the left. He's uh, he's in a pretty good position. Sure, he's got a driver. pitching wedge. He's got a good lie. <laughs> At least he's laughing and smiling. That's that's a good sign. Diffic got a, got difficult a hole. complacency here, I think, Curtis. Yeah, difficult hole location for him. Not much green to work with, especially coming out of the rough. That's right of the hole. A lot of money on the line, and Tom Lehman with some history. He can get the victory on this hole and take the skins. Set an all-time record for earnings at the skins game. At 16, Tiger for birdie. seen that pitch mark where Tiger's ball just stopped before caused by Tom Lehman's third from the bunker. And this is what we mean when we say the complete game. Not only can he make a lot of birdies, but when he misses a green, he can certainly get it up and down. Okay. Want me to go? And what did okay. Tiger say to him? What's wrong? You made, made a par. <laughs> so he doesn't get off set. You know, good try. Yeah, nice. I think I might. Listen. Lehman had made five consecutive birdies. This man's made back-to-back -back birdies. Yeah, we talked so much about Tom Lehman the last five or six holes, but Duval or O'Meara now, if they get one in, it's worth a lot of money and a lot of skins. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Well, this gets interesting now. The hot putter is on a roll. David Duval has not been in this situation virtually at all the first two days. The lesson you gave me. Just to go to show you how far left this pin is tucked, this thing's only four yards from the left side of the green, and David Duvall's the closest in two, and he's got to chip the ball. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so David. Mark O'Mara ends up oh, God. <laughs> as the winner of the skins and taking $120,000 to go with the three skins at 16. Oh my God. And here's how the math adds up with the Toyota $100,000 super skin awaiting on the 18th hole after the 17th which is worth $40,000. Still have to make soup out of the Maryland Terrapins. Next Sunday at 1.30 Eastern on ABC. Pull it out of the Omer's 293 to 287. Back on the 17th, Tiger Woods has bombed his drive. David Duval found the bunker off the tee. So I can Watch out the next shot. I don't think good or not. Uh, he lost in the finals to Frank Nobolo two years ago. Or last, last year. So there's his layup safely done. It's like 32 under for the two years, though. Good. Why is it now? 31. Well, is it a driver? Is it a driver? 270 to the front? 78. Off comes the golden gopher. Left side, little cut, another run. Sounds good. Off comes the Golden Gopher head cover for former University of Minnesota star. And maybe the most interesting story with Tom, when he was playing those many tours, thought about becoming the golf coach at the University of Minnesota and didn't do it because he was going to have to sell skis in the offseason. Good choice. This ball is down the left side. 
You know, Tom told me he didn't want to sell skis because he looks bad in those tight Lycra pants. <laughs> like you do? I don't put them on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mark O'Meara is next. He's got 287. I, I, you know, there's really no problem in front of this green. You've got uh, probably 80 yards of uh, fairway, so the players are going to try to hit a low driver and hook it, try to run it on. Tiger's the only one that can reach the green. Yes, okay. Mark with a three wood. All right. This ball's to the right. Right. Up there on that hill, it'll be very difficult for Mark to make a fourth consecutive birdie. Look at Tiger way out there again. Tiger's got 256 yards to the hole. Well within his range of a three wood. This ball is left, trying to cut back. Get down. Down. God. Well, he went for it. Would have been one of the better moments in Skins history getting here on this long par five and two. Time now to look back at some of the best moments in Skins history. Over its 14 years, the Skins game has provided many great moments. This weekend, we honor the top 10 shots in the best of Skins. Yesterday, six through 10. Today, the top five. 1986, seventh hole. Lee Trevino's eagle chip. That checks in at number five. Number four, the king. Arnold's $100,000 putt on the 10th hole of the inaugural Skins game in 1983. Back to 1992 for number three. straight that were great on the 17th tee capped off by this Tom Kite shot for number two back to 1990 the playoff on the 10th hole the man without the shoes is Curtis Strange Practice makes perfect. And number one. Eighteen years, hundreds of great memories, the best of skid. Well, Mark O'Mara couldn't join the best of skins with his very difficult lie playing his third. He ended up short of the green. David Duval is in the bunker in front of the green. Here's Tom Lehman's third at the par five. That's play there, huh? <laughs> Nicely done. He kept it right below the hole, so he's putting straight up the hill from about five feet. Let's see where Tiger ended up as he gets set to play his third. He's got a nice lie back left of the green. He's going to pitch and run this thing with a 9-iron. He's got a lot of green to work with. Fairly easy shot. Always a part of Skins Weekend, the Pro-Am. Pro-Am packages provided by Callaway Golf this week. The winning team, Dennis Murphy, Evan Sternshine, Bill Sellers, and Don Transit. Congratulations to all of the participants. 
David Duval found trouble after his second shot. Mark O'Mara after his second missed the fairway. They're essentially out of the hole. It's kind of down to a Tom and Tiger duel here. But of bigger note, with the Toyota Super Skin, $100,000 awaiting on the 18th hole, Mark O'Mara can still catch Tom Lehman for the overall championship. Tiger Woods can only get to $200,000 if he wins the last couple of skins. You look at the Lehman family, Melissa and Tom and Melissa's children, Rachel and Holly. Thomas Andrew, their third, not pictured there. Now Tom for birdie. Let's go. One for the team. One for the team. Thank you. Nice birdie. Thank you. Good birdie. <laughs> I've heard a lot of that. With that birdie, that's nine for Tom Lehman through the first 17 holes, and that is the all-time skins game record for birdies in one year. I see left center. That's Tiger in the situation we've seen the most over the last two days. Well five feet for the half and he hasn't put it that well says he's put it good but the ball has not gone in the hole this one better go in to have the 17th hole that ball went left Another skin and forty thousand dollars for Tom Lehman. Wow. <laughs> well, Tom, congratulations! I don't know what's that like three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That makes you the uh, the nineteen ninety seven skins champion. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. You know, these guys are giving me a little bit of a break today. Um, I've made some good putts, but but they've missed some makeable putts too. And uh, the greens are tough to read, uh, but I'm pretty happy. Well, we've got the Toyota Super Skin coming up on eighteen. Another hundred thousand. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, Peter. What a show by Tom Lehman. $100,000 on the line on 18. ...of the flag, the water on 18, and these tremendous crowds that have been here both days for the 15th anniversary edition of the Skins game. And they've seen Tom Lehman put on quite a show. little history left out there for him here at 18. that bunker and ends up in fine shape. Now O'Mara. O'Mara down the right side. That bunker is 265 yards to carry. Just works its way back into the fairway, Peter. Golf next weekend, the J.C. Penny Classic. Stars of the PGA and LPGA Tours team up. We'll start on ESPN, our Friday coverage at 4 Eastern. We'll be there Saturday as well and back here on ABC one week from today at 4 Eastern. The long hitters, a team again, Daly and Davies. This has got a cut going over the bunker down to the right. It may miss the fairway to the right. Well, you see some frustration there. Well, it's interesting. You see the ebb and flow. Obviously, Lehman is, is happy. Marco Mir is happy. Tiger's not happy. And David is uh, not happy, but he's got a chance for 100000 right here. And you, it's, it's tough to keep up, Peter, but you have to. You have to keep telling yourself, hey, it only takes one good shot and one putt. It's tough to do sometimes, though. Well, David's first two victories on tour were in playoffs, so maybe he's familiar with like a playoff situation here on 18. Up the left-hand side and staying in the fairway for Duval. I think that's right, huh? Toyota Super Skin, $100,000 on the line. 
Tom Lehman wins, his total becomes $400,000 for this year. Oh, you go. Right. <clears throat> David Duval set to play his second at the Toyota Super Skin $100,000 18. Okay, David, one good shot here. That's a seven iron. A little left of the flag. Good shot. Okay, bunch of Andrew. Right at it, huh? Good look from the MetLife blimp. Snoopy 2 providing the bird's eye view of today's skins game action. Co-pilot Snoopy and the MetLife blimp celebrating the 10th anniversary of providing aerial coverage at major sporting events throughout the USA. Nothing you can add to that, folks. That was an eight iron. He's pushed it a little bit. Got to get up. Nice ball. Ooh. Everything going right for Lehman. Oh. What a show he has put on today. Well, the course record is 65, I believe, and Tom Lehman unofficially is nine under par today. So whether that counts as a course record, I don't know. Mark O'Meara is next from 134 yards. And from his angle, it looks like that pin is right on the edge of the green. It's back seven from the middle, so he's got some room. Yeah, I'll hit this. Eight iron. One, 134. A little into the wind. Okay. And an another difficult shot from Mark because he does play it from right to left. The pin flag stick is right there, just over the water. Has to start it to the right, over water, and draw it back. This is nice, real nice. Oh, oh. Tiger Woods just to the right of Mark O'Meara, about 128 yards. Thanks, sir. In the rough. Got to be careful. He's got a little bit of a flyer here. Good lie. Lot expect him to take the real aggressive approach, try to just carry the water, trying to get it close to the hole. This ball's got to get up. He's lost it to the right. It hit the bank and came back in the water. And you know, that's a shot he wouldn't ordinarily play, but that's okay because he had to get it close because Mark O'Meara is in there four or five feet from the hole. Well, as the players come up to 18, let's take a look back. Some of the snapshots, the memories we have of the 15th Skins game. It's been a wonderful couple of days here at Rancho La Quinta. The crowds have seen some great golf. We've seen Tom Lehman play as well as anybody's ever played this golf course. And maybe win as much money as anyone's ever won in the Skins game. Duval for birdie at 18. Try, David. Thank you. Well, not today and not yesterday, but I'm sure he enjoyed his trip here. But. It's awful st frustrating when, again, you're not sharp and you're playing against a guy that. that is very sharp like Tom Lehman. And the next time David tees it up in a tour event, he has a chance to join Byron Nelson, Ben Hogan, and Jackie Burke, the only men who've won four consecutive starts on the PGA Tour. That will be in January at La Costa, the Mercedes Championships on ABC.
Lehman and O'Mara. That's like a pretty good slope. Tiger, it's tough well, when it's you, uh, far, you're just, watching on the last hole when it's playing for $100,000, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little heartbreaking, but uh, you never know if uh, Tom can make this and Mark can make his. Uh, you get another crack at it. It's tough to keep your energy level up when someone like Lehman just goes goes crazy and gets so hot, isn't it? It's hard because you know I was in position to top him, I think, three or four times, and I wasn't able to do that, and that's kind of disconcerting, and you start to lose a little bit of confidence. But he's playing so well. Enjoy to watch somebody who's in full flight. You don't get in a zone very often like that, and it's really a lot of fun. Those of us who are fortunate enough to play this game and be in a position like that once in a while, it's uh, you certainly do appreciate it. Tiger, you're a good friend of Mark's. Now you're really pulling for him, aren't you? Oh, man, I'm his best friend right now. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, Mark's a great putter. I mean, expect this one to go in. Well, unofficially, yeah, that's 10 under. Ten under par, which would be a course record. Well, he shoot, oh, I think he shot 29 on the side, didn't he? Like seven birdies. Yes, he did, Tiger. That's just unbelievable. Here's yes, the... he did shoot 29. Well, that's just that's great golf. And he hit the ball well, but he made everything he looked at. The perfect speed, too. This put should go a little to the right. Yeah, I thought about split the left edge. Keep up your speed. Oh. Like that. Just like that. And on 18, two tie, to all tie. And that was supposed to be for a win. Thomas, you're too tough. Back on 18T, $100,000 on the line. Layman starts the playoff. Shot. Shot there. Carbon copy of what he hit earlier. Down the middle with the draw over that bunker, which is about 265 oh, yards carry. Oh, Six of the last seven years, business has not been decided on the 18th green. Beauty. Good well shot. Done. Thank you. Well done, love. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Like that? All right. All right. Well, Tiger, who second found the water just a few moments ago. This time he's going with the fairway wood. He tried to hit a big slice with the driver to get it in the fairway here. He's just going to hit it over the bunker with that three wood. Smart play. Sit down. Sit down. Sorry. Another opportunity for David Duvall. Win a skin here and get you well in a hurry. Well, this is good. Down the right Four side right. with a little cut. Right! Don't. Should, right, should carry the people. In eight weeks, we'll be on the Kahala Coast of Hawaii for the Senior Skins game at Manalani Resort. Arnold Palmer plays in a record 16th Skins competition. The four-time tradition champion, the Golden Bear, Jack Nicklaus will be there. The most dominant player in golf for 1997, Hale Irwin, over $2.3 million earned this year. He'll be competing with Raymond Floyd, the four-time reigning Senior Skins champion. They'll battle for $540,000 starting on January 24th, right here on ABC Sports. Three wood off the tee, Tiger hits first for his second shot. That's a seven iron from 166. He's pulled it left to the hole, going toward the middle of the green. You know, normally that wouldn't be that bad a shot, but in a sudden death playoff like we have here, you have to put it close to the hole. It's Curtis, no longer, you talk. No longer, guys, two tie, all tie here. Exactly. Oh, if you make bogey, 
you like this club? You are out of the hole. Curtis, you mentioned yesterday the Tiger gets the club too far behind him. I think that's yeah. what he's doing right now because everything's coming out with a little bit of a flip hook. Exactly. That's what he and Butch fight all the time. Marco Mira next with an 8-iron. Identical shot to the one he hit earlier, right at it. Right at it. Oh! Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate it. And that's what Tom was doing to the guys almost all day on the back nine. Now he has a chance to go after a great shot. Well, and you get fired up sometimes, too. Let's, let's stuff it in on top of Mark. Let's shut him out on this hole. Good shot. Where is it, Andrew? Here's David with the same situation that Tiger had before. It's going to have to try to get it close to the hole. Water will come into play. The problem with this is he's behind some trees. He really doesn't have any chance at all. Ball caught the tree. It's going to go in the water. I got a 2.20 flight tomorrow afternoon in New York and then down. So David and Tiger look to be in tough shape here. Mark O'Mara, sudden death now could get the earnings up to 240000 With Duval out of the hole, Tiger putting for birdie. Doesn't help him rooting for your teammates because... It is not two tie all tie, so as Tiger taps in for par, it really looks like Marco Mara is going to likely make that birdie putt. Tom Lehman's putt becomes the real important one to see if, in fact, we'll have two players continue on in this playoff. But Tom is still thinking, if I can get this one in, although Mark's such a good putter, only has four or five feet, it's not a sure thing. Stranger things have happened, so let's get this one in and just wait and see. He is human after all. <laughs> <laughs> Seven birdies today on the back nine of the Skins game here in this second day. Tom Lehman's made everything in sight, but now Mark O'Mara has an opportunity to win $100,000 on top of the 120 that he won with three Skins back on He's the 16th hole. <laughs> and the $20,000 he won on the fourth hole yesterday. Got to take a take your time, go through your normal routine, and take a real deep breath. Say to yourself, you've done this thousands of times before. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate. It. $100,000 with that Thanks. putt. Thanks, good birdie. Thanks, good going. Good finish. Thanks. Nice playing, Dave. Awesome round. $240,000 for the week. Let's take you back to what happened on the front nine yesterday. Two carryovers. Tiger gets the birdie in three skins, and after that, he was done. O'Mara gets his first money on the fourth. Three carryovers, then the layman train gets going. A birdie on eight for $100,000. Backs it up with another birdie on nine. And as the day started, Duval and Lehman have the hole at number 10, and then Tom becomes the first player in Skins game history to win three consecutive holes. 
A two-hole carry over to the 16th, and Lehman not able to win the money there. Marco O'Mara jumps in with $120,000. Lehman closes out the competition, but O'Mara wins the $100,000 on our first playoff hole. The contestants are on the green with Peter Jacobson. All right, thank you very much, Mike. I'm here with the four players. David, I know it was a tough two days for you. You told me this morning you didn't feel well, but we all thank you for coming down and, uh, and taking uh, Fred Couples' place. Yeah, well, I'm glad I was included. I just, I had a wonderful time. I didn't play particularly well, but I guess it ended up as it should since I wasn't supposed to be here anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, you had some putts that slipped away today that could have put some heat on Lehman. Yeah, I had some chances, and um, I wasn't able to make them, so consequently he had free rolls at him, and he made every one of them. <laughs> Mo, well, two hundred and forty thousand. It, it came close, plus a hundred thousand uh, on the last hole. Congratulations. Thanks, Peter. It was nice to play a little bit better on the backside today, make a few putts. But uh, obviously, our hats are off to Tom Lehman, who played some tremendous golf both days. I think almost ten under par. So, unofficially, unofficially sixty-two. Uh, definitely a twenty-nine on the last on the last nine because you hold out on every hole. I'd like to bring in right now Yale Giesel, who's the executive vice president of Toyota Motor Sales USA. He has a little something for you. Tom, congratulations on an impressive victory Thanks. today. On behalf of the Toyota dealers in the United States, we're proud to present you with your choice of one of two vehicles, either a recently introduced Toyota Sienna compact minivan or the Toyota Avalon. So you have your choice. Here are the keys. Right, well, thank you very much. I'll take the Avalon. Thank Good. you. <laughs> okay. Tom, you played like it's the, uh, the middle of the year in a major championship. What, how do you feel about 98 now? Well, if I can putt like that all the time, I'm going to be really looking forward to, to next year. I, you know, I was trying to be like Lauren Roberts, getting that same kind of tempo putting, and you know, I rolled the ball great for two days. Well, I'd like to putt like Lauren. I'd like to putt like you too. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to all four of you. Thank you. Thanks to Yale and Toyota. We had a great time. And Mike, let's go back to you. Peter, thank you. Pleasure working with you here this weekend. Curtis Tom Lehman talked about his putting in 1995. He had a very good year, but ranked over 100 on the putting list on the PGA Tour. Worked on his pace in the year in between in 96. He ranked 55th in putting. He approved, improved again this year. I think we see some of that work paying off today with $300,000 in the skins game. Absolutely. He made a lot of putts, and that's so very important in the skins game, but he also played pretty darn good in TD Green. He didn't miss many fairways, hit just about every green on the backside. The other three players, Mark and Tiger, didn't play too bad, but they just played supporting roles for Tom Lehman the way he played these last two days. We really saw how momentum can be such a factor in the skins game. Tom got going and wouldn't let anybody along for the ride. Well, we said earlier that when you go into the second day and you have your pockets full with a lot of cash, you can play very aggressive. When you're playing good, that can be dangerous for everybody else. Tom Lehman wins $300,000 and the 1997 Skins Game Championship. Now, for Curtis Strange and Peter Jacobson, Mike Tirico. Hope you've enjoyed this weekend at La Quinta. Tom Lehman, the champion. ABC Sports presentation of the Skins Game has been brought to you by Toyota. Every day belongs to you. Make it count. Toyota. Every day. Dean Witter. There are many ways to measure success. Dean Witter measures success one investor at a time. Texaco. A world of energy. And the top flight arrow. The first ball to combine soft feel with spectacular distance. Tomorrow on ABC's Monday Night Football, the NFC Central lead is on the line. Brett Favre and the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers take on the Minnesota Vikings. ABC's Monday Night Football is on the internet at abcmnf.com. Now stay tuned for your local news and world news tonight, Sunday. And down and oh, no. It's over. It's academic. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. Promotional consideration provided by National Car Rental, the official car rental company of ABC Sports.